Howdy friends and neighbors. Old Doc here. At the uh, beginning of the video, hopefully the picture was good enough you guys could see. Uh, that was that was a picture of me years ago. And uh, it's almost a new year. And, you know, guy, everybody has a birthday. And, uh, which I did not long ago. And uh, between the birthdays and the end of the year, it always gives a guy, uh, you know, time to reflect, or hopefully you got time to reflect. And some of the best advice I ever got was when I was young. And I want to pass that on to you. And uh, when I was younger... You know, I didn't think every decade was a milestone. I uh, I worked just as hard as I played, and and I did both uh, for decades. Uh, I can't play as hard as I did, you know, ten years ago, and I can't work as hard as I did ten years ago. But uh, I'll give you a, a little example of how hard I'd worked and how hard I, well, I guess I don't really have an example I want to share right now uh, on how hard I played. But uh, probably 10 years ago, um, I got a load I left home here and I went to uh, Wayne, Nebraska and picked up a load and I got to uh, Cape Girardeau, Missouri and I got a phone call saying that uh, one of our family members had passed away and due to my scheduling, the miles I had to go there was no way I was going to make it back for the funeral, legal. There was no way. I called my boss, told him what the deal was, told him I was going to try to make my delivery and my pickup and be back for the funeral. And uh, he's old school also. He knew where I was, you know, coming from. So he said, "Well, I'll try to pull some strings, but you're not uh, you're not scheduled to load or unload, you know, for a couple of days." And my destination was Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and that's a pretty good jog from here. So I kept rolling. I made it down to Hattiesburg, got unloaded, and my boss, true to his word, he called them, told them what the deal was, even though I wasn't scheduled to unload till the next day, and then scheduled to load back from the same place, coming back uh, till the day after. Well, they unloaded me right away when I got there. And they ran my product right away and reloaded me. And I turned around and I headed back. And I drove from here, from home here, to Wayne, Nebraska, to Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and back to Wayne, or not Wayne, I'm sorry, it's not Wayne, it was Norfolk, Nebraska. Got back to Norfolk, and the boss had called Lisa, the one that schedules the unloading at the place I was going, and told Lisa what the deal was, and she said, I'll get him to a door as soon as possible. Well, I did all that driving, and back home on 30 minutes of sleep. 
that's over 2,000 miles. That's how hard I worked. And that was only one of the countless times I ran like that. Not always, you know, for a funeral. But that's how hard I worked for decades. And each year, I think, I'll, I'll never see another decade. I thought that from, you know, when I was very young. And I still think that. I, I think I'm living way too fast, way too hard. I'll never see another decade. Well, I made another decade. And I'll show you a picture here of what I'd look like when I got back to Norfolk from Hattiesburg, Mississippi with 30 minutes of sleep. So yeah, I'm out of breath. I had to uh, run and do something real quick. But anyway, I had, over the years, over the decades, I had uh, more than my fair share of days like that. Just like many of the other old truck drivers and farmers. You guys, you know what I'm talking about. And, uh, but I reached a milestone, another milestone. And I guess I don't know what else to put in here. I don't want to drag this out any longer than what it has been. But the best advice, the whole time I was growing up, I kept telling everybody I can't wait till I'm older I can do this I can't wait till I'm older I can do that and my grandparents gave me the best advice that after decades that I keep looking back on they always told me don't wish the days away don't wish the days away. And I never, when I was younger, I never understood what they were talking about. Good or bad, I mean, we've all had some really, really bad days, really bad times. And sometimes they go on for months. Or sometimes, you know, you have a string of years that are bad. But... I tell you, in the long run, they're going to outweigh the good. I mean, the good is, is going to out, outweigh the bad in the long run. Trust me. And I never understood what they meant as I was growing up. Never wished the days away. Well, here I am, another decade, and I know what they meant. And I stopped wishing the days away many, many years ago. So, that's just, you know, something I'd been reflecting on. And uh, hopefully, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about. Many family members, I've got a lot of friends, classmates, people younger than me that were good friends. They didn't make it this long, not near this long. Don't ever wish the days away. With that, friends and neighbors, happy trails. Happy New Year. Be kind to one another, be kind to yourself.